Hey, 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 it's Evelyn here, and I am going to be playing with the new Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. Now, listen, y'all know I'm still trying to work out my little beauty influencer C. So I've, I've had this palette for like a week and a half. I have not touched it, and I was like, I need to film, and now it's, you know, oh, but whatever. Listen, if you want to see what it looks like on my deep, rich skin tone, I don't have any eyeshadow on, we're going to get right into it. Okay, so this is the latest in the Natasha Denona um, Midi Eyeshadow Palette series. I'm so excited. I haven't swatched it at all because I wanted y'all to see it fresh, fresh packaging. But it's kind of like this. It's still the hard um, plastic, but it's kind of got the, like this soft matte feel to it. And when I saw this palette, I was like, ooh, this one intrigued me because this to me is kind of a mix between her retro her glam and maybe her bronze palette maybe so we'll see but it, it looks so pretty I went in the store and I swatched it and I was like yes it looks let me open it up so you can see it so the colors here let me just put that here so the colors here look more neutral to me maybe a little cool on on this side but th these look kind of neutral and i was like i'm excited to get into it so that's what we're going to be doing today i already have my base down so i have my foundation primer foundation concealer blush lip brows bronzer all of that i'm not a big highlight person so Typically, you won't see me wear highlight. I do have just a little bit of concealer um, over my eyelids. I don't necessarily intentionally put it there like an eyeshadow base. I'm more so just kind of like when I'm doing my under eye, I'll just kind of like go up over the eye. But I'm excited to get into this. So let's get started. Okay, so let's jump right into some swatches. And the reason why... I really wanted to kind of transition my channel into more of a beauty and lifestyle channel as I, I love beauty and I, there just wasn't a lot. I wouldn't say there wasn't any, but there wasn't a lot of women my age and my skin tone into higher end luxury beauty, maybe here and there, but not consistently. So, so first we have black is black and I definitely want to compare this to, ooh, I definitely want to compare this to the black that's in Biba. Okay, so let's see how we want to do this. This is black is black. Okay. Then we have instinct. So I'm going from top to bottom. Ooh, instinct. Oh, look at that. So this is instinct. Beautiful. Next is Vision, and I believe this is the multi-chrome. This definitely reminds me of um, Sextraterrestrial from Pat McGrath, okay? And then we have, so that's the first three down this column. Then we have Aspiration. Oh, I love this, like, neutrally brown. Oh, I love that smoky outer corner moment oh yeah right up my alley next we have thrill Ooh, it's so buttery soft that's thrill definitely gonna be like just a spotlight moment for me Ooh, that's pretty can you see that and then next we have edgy I think this is another cream to powder. Oh, look at that color. I'm gonna put that right here. Edgy. That's why I say these colors on this side kind of remind me of retro uh, a little bit. I don't have retro, but when I saw this, I was like, am I gonna even need retro? Next, we have Serenity. Ooh, this is kind of like a taupey like a taupey color, if you can see that. Ooh, that's gonna be a nice, just like soft lid shade. Oh, I like that, taupey. 
And then we have Unity, which is a lighter kind of neutral peach matte. Definitely probably a brow bone highlight for me. So we'll do that. Oh, that's actually got some color to it. I like that. Okay. And Carpe Diem, one of the colors I'm in. No, excuse me. Spontaneous is next. This is the thing about Natasha Denona shadows. They are so soft. Um, this is a color I don't I don't see myself using this. It's so bright and metallic. And I'm the kind of person I actually don't like super blingy um eyeshadows, believe it or not. So I know people are always like they love high shine. The more sparkle, the better. I like really subdued sparkle. Um, just because I find on my skin tone that if it's too, too sparkly, like that's all you can see. It like, it stands out even more on this rich base. Okay. So then let's go into Carpe Diem. Ooh, Carpe Diem almost matches my nail color. Ooh, yes. This is going to be an amazing transition shade for me. Oh yeah. I love that definitely buildable i could probably even use that like a blush next we have risk Ooh, this is like a, a burgundy a sparkly burgundy metallic yeah for sure that would also be a pretty blush color and then we have nurture nurture is like a cool tone taupey matte which if i ever did use it it would be on the lid for like an all matte eye yeah there's that and then we have three more. Let me tell you, Invention is, is looking wonderful. So this is Babies. Beautiful. I'm running out of space here. Babies. Invention. Oh, this. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's, I'm definitely, I'm probably going to put that on. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, I love that shade. And then last but not least, Familia which this is kind of like a yellowy brown. It's going to probably just fade into my skin. So here are all of the swatches on my skin tone. Obviously, this side of my arm is a lot lighter than my face, but I definitely want you to see all of the swatches. So I am going to start off in my crease with this shade right here, Familia. And kind of gonna see, they're just so buttery soft. So I'm gonna use that as a transition shade. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. Great as like a transition shade for me. It's, this is the thing about Natasha Den on the shadows is they're so soft. Like this shade is super soft. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna go kind of high up. I literally could just like do this in the crease and call it a day. So my neutral tone, I mean, my, my neutral tone, my undertone is neutral. So when I saw this palette, I was like, there's a lot of transition shades in here for me. I like that in a palette. And then I've got some lid shades. And then I've got a couple of shades where I can deepen it up. This is my BK Beauty 202 brush, you know, kind of your standard pointed crease brush i have hooded eyes and so, oh that's so pretty do y'all see that look at that oh i like that okay oh that may be my new favorite transition color like i could literally put eyeliner on and be done okay so where i want to go next is i think i want to take a little bit of Carpe Diem, which is this shade right here, and kind of go over the edge a little bit. This is a little pinkier than the than the shade I put on before, but I'm kind of going to go up to the brow bone a little bit just to use a couple more colors to get in that inner part. Oh, it's, it's so pretty. Oh, my gosh. And, y'all, I love a soft eye look. Okay, so where do I want to go next? So I think... I'm going to grab my BK Beauty Times Angie Hot and Flashy A504 brush. 
And I'm going to go into Aspiration, which is the dark brown. And I'm going to kind of tap that on my outer corner here. I'm just tapping. I'm not swirling and twirling. I'm just tapping. Just tapping. Oh, it's nice and rich. Tap, 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 tap. And then I'm just going to kind of kind of buff that in a little bit onto the lid and into the crease. I'm only going about like a third of the way in. It's kind of like what I do with my signature looks. I really like this palette. Tappy tap tap on the outer corner. I probably could have used an even bigger brush, but this one was clean. <laughs> Oh, oh I, I really like it. You know, sometimes, uh, as much as I love Natasha Denona, sometimes I felt like her dark colors or her deep colors didn't go deep enough for me. But this one, I like it. And then I'm going to go back to my first brush. I'm not going to add any color. And then I'm just going to kind of buff it in. Kind of drag it into the crease a little bit. Oh, I'm liking this. So far, so good. If I need to go back and add a little more, I will. Or I'll just use kind of what's already on the brush. So now I just need to figure out what I want to do on the lid. Okay, and so um, I'm kind of thinking about invention, because but it looks more like a topper. So I'm thinking about doing, hmm, I think I want to do invention. So this is my BK Beauty Angie Fla Hot and Flashy A501 brush. I know that invention is like a topper shade, but I just want to tap it on my lid and see what that does. It's the sparkle for me. And I like a soft sparkle, so this is kind of giving me like an orange. Oh, it's so pretty. And I'm, I'm, y'all, I'm barely adding any product because, again, like I said, I like a softer sparkle. It's so pretty. I like a softer sparkle. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, I love that. That's so pretty. And I'm just going to, I have hooded eyes, so I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. Just a little bit so that I can see it even when my eye is open. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to add some brown eyeliner as mascara, come back, and let's do some comparison swatches. I think like comparison swatches are like my favorite part of the thing because it's just like nerding out over eyeshadow. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back, took down the twist, um, just did a little bit of like dark brown eyeliner and some mascara on the uppers and lowers. And I wanted to get into some um, comparison swatches because Part of this palette immediately reminds me of Biba. So I pulled out Biba, and I know more people are probably gonna think more so um, because of the burgundy tones in here, they're gonna think about retro. I don't have retro just because I don't wear burgundy tones enough, but I wanted to compare the black that's here in Biba and then some of these kind of middle shades to what's in here in my dream palette. So let's start, we'll use, we'll use this arm now. So let's start with the black is black. So this is black is black, which is an existing shade in her collection. So this is the black is black. Okay. And it says black is black, but I probably could have used that as a liner because I love using the black in Biba as a liner. But then I want to, this is Spot, which is a cream to powder in Biba. It's so soft. Oh, it is substantially. Let me do another. So it's a little softer. 
it's a, I think it's also a little smoother. Now, Carpe Diem, this color right here, reminds me of Buff, this color right here in Biba. So let me do Carpe Diem. And actually familiar too. So let's do, do Carpe Diem here. Okay, that's Carpe Diem. And then it's giving me Buff Vibes, which I use a lot from Biba. So this is Buff. You can't even hardly see it. I'm not trying to flip you off. Yeah, they're very similar, okay? It's also giving me, there's a there's a color here called Tone, which I don't use as often. This is a cream to powder. I think this is gonna be lighter. Yeah, Tone is there. But Tone actually reminds me of Unity <laughs> from, from this, from my Dream Palette. So I'm gonna go into Unity and swatch that. I think this is why I'm so drawn to this palette is because it reminds me of Biba and Biba is my favorite Natasha Denona palette. Okay, so then um, I'm going to say that Familia, which is the, the color that I went into my crease with, which this color right here reminds me of Coco a little bit. I think Coco's going to come across deeper. Okay, but... Okay, yeah, Coco's going to come across deeper. I also wanted to say that Freckle and Biba also reminds me of these of these two shades right here. So I'm going to swatch Freckle, which is a shade I don't use often. I'm just going to kind of... Where am I going to put it? I'll put it right here. Hmm. It's a bit warmer. Okay. Um, I think... Those are the only colors from Biba that are similar. It did make me think about that color familiar, that warm brown that's in the My Dream palette. It makes me think of a brown that is in Metropolis. And I want to pull it out. I think this brown is going to be a little bit more yellow. Where is it? So these two browns right here make me think of Familia. So let's get some swatcherooing going. So let's do, oh, what are the names? This is Pure and Antique. So I'll do Pure first. This is Pure. Okay, much lighter, probably closer to these. And then I'm going to do Antique next. This is antique. Okay, so antique does remind me a little bit, but it's it's much lighter than familiar. So, which I prefer because it shows up better on my skin tone. Now, as far as the kind of purpley tones in here, I will say that... Um, I don't think bronze, I, I said bronze earlier, but there's maybe one shade in here that may be similar to bronze. I'm going to look into, this is the Love Palette, and see if the purples are similar. The only, so let me hold this up. I, I want you to see this. This is the Love Palette. This is my Dream Palette. I don't really see any similarities here. So that's that's a no. And I think that's it. Let me look at Mini Biba. I just want to look at Mini Biba and see if there is a tone in here. You know what? Mini Biba. I definitely can see some overlap between the beiges and the browns, particularly those two browns so let me do aspiration running out of room here <laughs> let me do aspiration beautiful color and what color is this this is wink yeah 
Yeah, I knew though those were very similar. I definitely think Wink has a little bit more plum in it. So, um, outside of that, I really don't see any similarities, but I don't know where my video cut off at. <laughs> And I just did all these comparison swatches. So this is the comparison between um, the brown in um, my dream palette and the brown in mini uh, Biba. These were the browns between Metropolis. These were the swatches between Biba. Right. So um, I don't know what you call, but I was just saying these are my kind of colors which is why I think I'm drawn to this palette. Here are the original swatches. I definitely can see myself using this on a daily basis. I think that's why I'm so drawn to it. I'll come back possibly in another video and do a more burgundy look with it just so you can get to see it on, you know, deeper skin. But I I am excited about it. I'm I'm enjoying it so far. I really like the way that this eye look turned out, it's giving soft glam. So anyway, with that being said, thank you for bearing with me as I try to get into the flow of doing, um, sharing makeup. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to be like a review channel, but I definitely want to go through and like start swatching my collection and doing all those kind of things so that you can have like a reference library of some of your favorite palettes, maybe that aren't necessarily as new but you've been thinking about getting and so you need to see what the swatches look like so with that being said i will see you in my next video peace